I want to take a minute to just welcome you guys all to our first ever challenge group kickoff call. This is something that, to be honest, I, I do a lot of kickoff calls with my coaches and my team, and I kind of figured that that's how I help my coaches get started, right? So why not apply the same knowledge and help my challengers get started right? And I can tell you that I've been running these challenge groups now for almost three years. I started as a coach back in March of 2014, and some of you on here are one of my personally sponsored coaches, some or personally sponsored, or some of my customers, and some of you are customers of other coaches on our team. But big picture, we all work together, um, and I want you to just know that you know, ask. Ask and you shall receive. Any questions you have, just ask. Don't ever hesitate. Um, this is new. For a lot of you, this is a brand new thing, and it can be confusing, and it can be overwhelming, and it can be intimidating, and the best way for you to have success is just to ask for questions and continue moving on. So this group's a little bit different from other groups in the sense that we also have the Beachbody Health Bet going on. So historically, I run my challenge group through a Facebook group. Now with the Beachbody, the Beachbody Health Bet part of things, you have to participate in the Challenge Tracker app to be able to log your workouts, log your Shakeology, and for them to track it. So as a lot of you know, some of you are in both, some of you are only in one, some of you are in both but participating in one. And big picture, I wanted you all to understand that to qualify for the health bet, you must be logging in the tracker app. Some people tend to, I've had customers who've been with me now for year plus, two years, who they just don't care for Challenge Tracker app because they're used to Facebook and that's where they would rather log their stuff. So I'm here to tell you, I don't care which one you want to use from an interaction standpoint, like which one do you want to use for your, you know, regular accountability in your posts, but for health bet perspective, you must be logging in the challenge tracker app. And if you, for some reason, aren't in there yet or don't see your invite, you know, reach out to me or your coach. We'll make sure we get you included in there. But know that if you want to qualify for the health bet and use the tracker app, but you want to still use Facebook, you can also change your settings in the tracker app. For example, when there was the health bet back in September, my husband didn't want to log, like he didn't want anyone to see his pictures. Like he was literally just checking the boxes to qualify for the health bet. So he did it and he could see that he was meeting the qualifications on his, in his app, but I could never see it. So he just went into his app and changed the settings so that nobody could see his logs. He just didn't want anyone to. It was for his own personal tracking. So know that within the app, you can have your settings set so that everybody sees your post. You can have your settings set so that only your coach sees your post, or you can have them set so that everyone sees your post. So I know some of some people have told me they, they want to use Facebook, but they also want to qualify for the tracker app. That would be a way that you could log them, turn off the notifications so that it's not duplicating. Because you don't have to check into both. It's not, you know, the point isn't to be extra work. The point of your daily check-ins are so that it's holding you accountable so that it gives you something that at the end of the day, you know, that someone's going to be there, you know, waiting to hear from you. And I can tell you from experience, I was someone who in my very first challenge group, I was silent for the first week. I also was someone who took my before pictures and deleted them. So make sure that if you have taken them and deleted them, you take them again or that you take them at this point and just have them because I was, you know, you're getting started in this probably because you wanted to make a change and sometimes it can be hard to look at the pictures or accept the pictures or whatever it is. So A, make sure you have your pictures taken and B, make sure you're participating because that first week of that challenge group, I kind of just sat there and watched and I didn't really change a whole lot. Sure, I added in my Shakeology and I was doing my workouts with the rest of my nutrition kind of sunk and it really took for me to have a bad day and to kind of fess up to that bad day in the group. And it was actually, it was Fat Tuesday during Lent. And I still remember I went to the Pizza Hut buffet with my mother-in-law and we had pizza and dessert pizza and just junk. And I was like seeing everyone's check-ins that day. And I was like, look, all these people are doing great and then sticking to their meal plan and I sucked today. So I did that check-in that day and I said how horrible my day was. And it was my way to be like, I'm not doing this again. And having to like type out how bad I did help me then to stick to it the rest of the challenge group. So that's the whole point of the, the daily check-ins. And as you 
some of you have done other challenge groups and you're back for this one. It's a little different in the sense that I made that little calendar for our group for different ways to do pictures. Cause I can take a selfie all day long. I know not everybody likes to take selfies and post selfies. So I added that little calendar with different things with the motivation or the lunch picture or the drinking water, whatever it is, just as different ways to spice things up. You don't have to do them. It's just a way to Keep it interesting because this should be fun. I want this to be something that you guys enjoy and that you want to do and that you look forward to sharing your day and look forward to sharing your ideas and what you've learned and asking questions because that's how you're going to get results. The more fun you have with it, the more results you'll have down the road. I did add an album into, the, into our Facebook group that has a bunch of recipes. I started my blog when I started the 21 Day Fix. Pretty much everything on my blog is 21 day fix friendly. Um, most of the time I put my, my container equivalents there. If not, it's pretty straightforward what they are. But pretty much if you go to my blog, you can see breakfast ideas, lunch ideas, appetizers, crock pot stuff, and it's all on there. And for the most part, it's fix friendly. So anything that you see like on an example meal plan that I share, I try to, anything I put on a meal plan that gets published on my blog or shared in a challenge group, I make sure that the corresponding recipes are on my blog just for easy cross-reference for everyone else. If you don't see something, I might have pulled it from somewhere else. Just ask and let me know, but that's, that's a resource. And obviously, as you know, Pinterest is full of 21 day fixed meal plans and recipes and stuff. And if you find something you really like, Post it in the group and share it. I know people are always looking for different ideas and recipes and stuff like that, but I'll share my meal plans as I do them. Um, I, I did share some example meal plans right at the beginning. So if you look under in, into Facebook, you can look at the photos and you can see, I can actually even screen share real quick. Let me see something open. I've got way too many tabs. So that's something I can do on here is screen share. When you guys, I can kind of walk you through some of this stuff. But something else that I know I've heard from other people, so I wanted to make sure that you guys all understood, one of the options, both in the Facebook group and in the Challenge Tracker, is you have the ability to turn off notifications. So if you are someone who is getting, you know, like obviously our group is pretty big. So if you're getting other people's notifications and it's too overwhelming because you don't want to see everybody else's notifications, know that you have the ability to turn those off. And if you see here, I'm in the group, I just open the page here. Right here it says notifications. I have it set so that I get a notification for all posts. You can have it for highlights, which What's that? Friends posts and suggested posts. I don't know what that would really do. You can have it set so you only see your friends posts in the group or you can turn it off. So if you just want to be able to go into this group at the end of the day and just do, you know, you can go in and check things out and do your log. You can turn the notifications off. Just make sure you remember to go back in and look. So if the notifications are getting too much to you, that's where you can change that there. And then if you look under photos, um, you can see in the albums, I had done the meal plan examples here early on in the beginning, so you can see some different meal plans. And then, my screen off a little. And then I had done some recipes, and I saw some other people, I know Missy added a couple other recipes in here, so anyone can add to this. I added some of like my favorite ones, some crock pot ones, ones that had the recipes on it and know that you guys can do that too. And I wanted to make sure I pointed this out to you guys while we were on the call. These are just some like favorite little gadgets. So, um, you know, having like a Brita water bottle, big picture, it doesn't have to be a Brita water bottle. Make sure you have a water bottle that you can keep with you, that's with you all times, it's refillable. This Hamilton Beach Travel Blender, it's, I don't know, you can see it there, $16.99. You can see it on the price tag there. I feel like it was, I feel like I paid less than that. Check Amazon. Um, but this Hamilton Travel, it, it works really well, and it's tiny. You can pack it in your carry-on. You, ah, it has a blade. Maybe I'll take, quote me on the carry-on. But you can pack it in a suitcase. You can go overnight trips. You can throw it in a bag. And if you really want your shape to be blended, this little thing will do wonders. I used to always travel with it, and then I kind of got to the point where I just love the place, taste of plain Shakeology, and I'm cold just shaking my shake with water. But if you really want to blend it, this Hamilton Beach is pretty inexpensive. Um, it's a great little gadget to help make sure that you're getting your shake and when you're on the road. 
a water infuser. I know a lot of people say they have a hard time drinking plain water. Infusing your water with fruits is a great way to add flavor without adding calories, without taking away any of your containers. Um, so know that this is, this is a, you know, they, they make water bottle infusers. Obviously, you can buy like a pitcher. This little chopper here, I have the slicer. This is what I use for peppers. So I use a lot of peppers. We can, we, me and my husband both eat peppers with our eggs every day. Um, and like slicing onions, a lot of crock pot meals. I use this slicer all the time. Uh, make sure you have some sort of little containers to store your foods in. That way that when you're prepping, you can then have things set in the fridge. Um, I already said Amazon like a minute ago, but I got great food prep containers on Amazon. Um, they, have, um, they stack really easy. They've been really well. They've worked well for us. And then this little Vegetti. This is a, a veggie spiralizer. Um, I did finally upgrade from this little $10 gadget to one that was like $22 on Amazon that actually is like a crank and it does sweet potatoes. This little handheld one, primarily, I just use it for zucchini. But zoodles, for you who might be missing pasta and find that a little yellow container of pasta isn't quite cutting it, we use the zucchini noodles all the time. Um, and also, you don't need to, the, 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 I can't talk the veggie for it, but you can also use spaghetti squash for a substitute for pasta. But I found these were just some, some little tools and gadgets that I found very helpful, especially when I was first getting started and I wanted to make sure that I pointed those out to you guys. And I'll go ahead and just pull my blog up so that you guys can see that. It's just my name, meganblinka.com, and you can see, like, I have done a page for, although, as I say it out loud, I don't have a page created for when I did Quarter Force, but every time I would do a program, like you can see, I did Pio, I would blog, like, you know, what it was, and then I would do the review, and each one of these little summaries has a meal plan with it, and I did that pretty much for, for all of the programs, so you can find lots of different meal plan examples. Um, if you're thinking about another workout program, now that most of you have all access, you can read a little bit more about what I had, what I've done and my thoughts on it. And um, also ask in the group, a lot of people in the group have done, have been with me for a long time. So they've done all the programs that I've done, great resources as you're kind of moving along one to another. Um, and then this, this year, the recipes and I have Shakeology recipes. So if you look at the Shakeology recipe one, it's pretty much just broken down by the flavors. I'll be honest, strawberries clearly not my favorite. I don't really have much there, but strawberries with strawberries, always a popular one. But I have some of my recipes here. Um, when it comes to your Shakeology, one question that I get a lot is how to make it that really thick consistency so it looks like it's pudding or ice cream. Um, and I, I did an actual blog post on it because people, it's this one, this vegan peanut butter. Yeah, it's this, so, this one. But I talk about a little bit more about what I add. But I will tell you, um, when it comes to getting it the consistency, it's really in how you blend it. Like to get it real thick, to eat it with a spoon, if you like to eat it instead of drink it, <laughs> it's going to come with the way, the ice that you add and then the way you blend it. And if you want to veer like a wee bit off of super clean eating and get a little bit off with some fat-free, sugar-free cheesecake pudding mix, one little tablespoon of that will do wonders. I don't typically add that anymore, but in the beginning, that was something that was like my treat. I would like sit down at night, make a Shakeology bowl, and if I would do you know, half milk, half water, or yeah, half almond milk, half water. Always add in a handful of spinach. That's the easiest way. If you're struggling to get your greens in, add in two. Um, extracts are really helpful. Um, caramel extract is delicious. Even classic vanilla extract, caramel or coconut extract. There's even like a butter extract. But the vanilla, all the different extracts are good ways to add a little bit of flavor without necessarily taking a container away. But to get that consistency of like real thick, like ice cream, it's just the more ice and you just have to blend it longer and blend it. You know, it kind of takes a little more patience, shake it up a little bit. Um, but you'll see a lot of my favorite, favorite recipes here on my blog. And then under the, the plain recipe tab, you'll see more and I've done the Whole30, and I, I tend to kind of combine my own Whole30 21-day fix container system 
Um, and you, you'll see some of those are marked here. And that's why, because when I was doing Whole30, other people were asking me which meals were that. So know that if you go into mini Ed Cups, even though it says Whole30 friendly, you can also scroll down and it should say, hopefully I don't make a liar of myself. Probably will. I was going to try to show you the containers that it was. Nope, not going to see it. The egg cups, so like one red, one green. All right, well, I made a liar out of myself on that because this one doesn't have it. But for the most part, for the most part, the recipe should have the breakdown on them. So this is all that I have on my blog. Um, the recipes, though, like a lot of crock pot ones. I know that's something that, especially with this weather, a lot of people have asked me for crock pot ones. Here's some of, there's five on here that I kind of cycle through pretty regularly. This also chicken, super common. Um, the buffalo chicken dip, if you're a Steeler fan and you're getting ready because there's going to be another game next weekend, this buffalo chicken dip is a clean eating, 21 day fix friendly, portion fix friendly meal. But just ask if you're going through and looking for something specific and can't find it, ask. But I try to keep pretty much everything that I use and that I share and that I talk about all with on my blog here. So I can stop the screen share there. So um, as we're getting started here, um, the, what I expect from you guys is just your daily check-in. So I shared, talked a little bit at the beginning about having that, that photo of the day, whether you use that photo or another photo. The point is checking in every day is going to hold you accountable. And everyone here joined the group because they had a desire to change, a need, something to fulfill, and you're here, you've already invested your time. Our role as coaches is to help you get that, that next step further to help you make sure you meet your goals as well. So um, the, the meal plans that are out there like within your program, make sure you take some time to look through those too. There's really great I, different meal plans in the books that come with it. And then there's so many different recipes. Like, don't be afraid to step outside the box. And I'll tell you, I, you know, still to this day will sit down pen and pencil and write a meal plan out every Sunday. And I know I was talking with someone, I don't know if she's on right now, but we were chatting earlier and she's like, no matter how many times I meal plan, if I make a meal plan, then whatever I wrote down, I don't want it. So if you're someone who meal planning is causing you more stress than it's worth, then maybe your meal plan doesn't look like mine. And maybe your meal plan doesn't go through and say, I'm having this for breakfast and this for lunch and this for dinner. But maybe you have ideas of what you're going to make for the week. And you have the ingredients there ready. And if you can put it all together and maybe you just have things prepped and your veggies are chopped and your fruits are cleaned and everything's ready. You can grab what you want when you want it. But meal planning is to be something that is more helpful down the road. I know it's intimidating. I have a video I looked for it earlier and I couldn't find it, but I know I have a YouTube video where I talk about creating a meal plan. So I don't want to duplicate that here because I can send that to you for you to watch in your own time but I can share with you just my process and what I go through when I'm doing it and you know make it simple in the first week like I honestly eat the same thing for breakfast and lunch or like my first two meals like I eat eggs with veggies every day and Shakeology every day those are my first two meals every day it doesn't change my dinner will change my lunch is usually the prior day's dinner leftover like it's not fancy. My afternoon snack is typically an apple with, with cashews. But I've grown to like it, and I like those foods, and they fill me, and I know that those foods are going to make me feel better than when I eat crappy foods. So I, I know not everyone wants to eat the same thing every day, but for me, it works. Find what works for you. That's kind of what, you know, the whole point of going through this. Not everything that works for me will work for you, but find what works for you and try different things and ask around in the group and see what other people are doing. And as you're sharing what you're doing, someone else might read that and be like, oh, okay, like that, that's a really good idea. I'm going to try that too. So make sure that you're willing to change, but try different things. And then the last thing I wanted just to talk to you guys about is the on-demand. So hopefully you've had a chance. I can screen share with that real quick too. I didn't think about that. Hopefully it's working. I know it was down, but with the beach body on demand, there's so much out there, which I feel again can get very intimidating. And I know some of you just came in, you, you bought one program. So that one, you already know what you're going to be doing, but if you have on demand, there's two routes you could kind of go with it. Let me get to it real quick. 
One is there's a challenge of the day. So you'll see when you log in every day, there's the challenge du jour right here. And the challenge du jour, if you look at the schedule, oh, that's going to play the actual workout. Sorry. See where the challenge du jour is. Okay. I wanted to see the schedule of it, not the, maybe I need to go down. Sorry. This isn't what I thought I was going to see. All right. Why is this not? Used to be, if you clicked here, it showed you like the ch challenge, like the whole week. Point being, the challenge du jour is set up so that like if you think of 21 day fix is the easiest thing to compare it to 21 day fix goes through a cycle throughout the week. You've got a, a cardio with weight and then you have an upper body, then you have a lower body and then you have your Pilates. So an active stretch day, and then you have a cardio, then you have another weight day with your, with your dirty 30 and then you have a yoga stretch day. So 21 day fix is created in a way that gives your body and gives your muscles, you know, you're working different groups throughout the week. The challenge du jour is kind of set the same way. You're working different muscles if you follow the challenge du jour. If you follow any of the programs, they're all designed, all the workout programs come with a calendar and they're designed in that way to allow you to work your different muscles properly. Point is, whatever you do, commit to it. So it, I feel like it could be a little overwhelming because there's so many things you could choose from. You could just keep trying all these different workouts because they're there and you can, but I encourage you to commit to something. Like with a program, you know, we've got the next four weeks for the health bet. Whatever you start with tomorrow, try to commit to a program. Whether you're going to do the challenge du jour and just do whatever they, they do each week that changes out from all the different programs to like the master trainer workouts, or pick one of the programs in here and stick with it. Because the programs are, have a calendar and they're designed in that way to allow you to maximize your results. So I just want to make sure that you don't get overwhelmed with the information that's here. I don't even think I have my all access yet. Um, and then I wanted to show you, oh here, challenge du jour. There we can see it. So you can see like the previous workouts here plyo, upper body, core and cardio, like you can see this is their format from like each day of the week so that you're doing a combo. There's, there it is. Um, and then your member library would be at this point, most of you, if you've all access, you would just have access to all of them. But I personally am going to start with 21 day fix. That was the very first program that I had done way back when I was trying to lose my post baby weight and I have been off my workout game now for, I think I worked out a week and a half-ish ago, um, when I, before I started getting sick and before the holidays and before just crazy life stuff. So I'm excited to do a round of the 21 day fix. I don't know how I can't get this. I'm trying to get you guys back in my window to stop my screen share. There we go. Um, so I'm going to be starting 21 day fix on Monday. I know some of you are starting the fix. I know some of you are in the midst of another round of something else. Um, but nonetheless, I'm excited to get started with you and just know that I'm here and your other coaches are here and you are going to get out of this group, whatever you put in. And the more effort you put forth, the greater your results are going to be. So I did want to try to keep it to 30 minutes. We're coming up on 930. Is there any questions that I can help answer? Anyone not understand? Anyone not have their stuff yet? I know there were some shakeologies floating around the country. Anyone have any questions? Nada. Okay. Well, tomorrow we'll start our first week one from a health bet perspective. You have to make sure you get your at least three workouts, five shakeologies a week with a picture logged into the health bet into the tracker app and remember you can check in to that or the facebook group you can check your settings change your notifications make sure it just fits you and what you want out of the group thank you very much for getting on i appreciate the time you guys all took out of your evening and i'm excited to get started see all your selfies soon <laughs> good night <laughs>